Hi guys, in this video we will learn about primitive data types in Java. Can you guess the type of data we mostly use in programming? We mostly take numbers or characters. In numbers we have two types, integers or decimals or we can say floating points. Integers are further divided into four data types. Byte, short, int, and long. Now, why we need four different data types for just integers? Why not just use one of them? This variable consumes memory. For better memory utilization, we have four different sizes. Byte is 8 bit, short is 16 bit, int is 32 bit, and long is 64 bit. The same situation is with decimals. We have two data types, float and double. If I want to store a small decimal value, for example, float pi is equal to 3.14, I'll use float. In float, we have to add lowercase or uppercase f in the end, for example, 3.14f. But if I want better precision, for example, value of a bitcoin, then I'll use double. For example, double my bitcoin is equal to some value. Now for storing characters, we only have char. Now for example, char c equals a. In Java, string is a class, not a primitive data type. I have created a separate video on string. And now last primitive data type is boolean many times we use true or false conditions and for that boolean is perfect guys all my videos are free we are not a team i'm just a one man doing all this work please hit that like button visit code archery and subscribe don't forget to share and thank you so much for watching my videos